Steve Gamash here with another episode of Chef Knives to Go Quick Look Product Reviews. And this time we're looking at the Kohetsu Shinano Awagami or Blue Number no. 2 Nakiri 165mm knife. So this line of knives has a core steel of Awagami or what's known as Blue Paper Number no. 2 Reactive High Carbon Steel from Hitachi. The heat treat's just a nice medium heat treat of 62 Rockwell on that core steel. And the construction is a three layer sandwich with stainless steel cladding on either side of that core steel and uh, so only the edge steel showing uh, where the grind is uh, is reactive which is pretty cool the um, let's see here the weight on this is 161 grams or 5.7 ounces uh, and the weights and dimensions will vary a little bit from knife to knife but uh, this particular one we'll call it about 165 on the edge including just a little bit of that curved tip um, and the overall length about 12.2 inches Spine thickness, these are fairly thick knives coming out of the handle, and then they do thin down a bit, but they've got a, a lot of stiffness to the blade. These are a rigid knife. So this is about 3.85. You can see it varies quite a bit coming right out of the handle, but it's about 3.85 over the chin or the back of the blade, and then it thins out pretty quick, and it has, I don't know, two and a half or so, uh, about two, two, two and a half, and then um, at the end of the blade. So it does have a pretty nice taper to it. So that's not the tip, that's the tip, which is curved on this one, which makes it rock kind of nicely. The um, blade height, they usually measure these in two places. This one's about 50 millimeter back at the chin, and about halfway up the blade, it's about 52.7, so it gains a little bit of height. The handle is uh, a semi-custom handle that Mark puts on these, and this could change, so uh, you know, the wood might be a little different. This particular one is, it's octagonal, and it's a maple with a wenge ferrule, but again, he might have some other combinations coming out on that. Uh, real nice fit and finish on the handle. Everything's nice and smooth. Nice sharp edges, shouldn't say sharp, but nice crisp edges on the, the facets on it. Really nice job. Uh, tight handle install, really well done. The um, circumference of the handle is about Three inches, 75 millimeters, where the ferrule and the main part of the handle meet. Pretty standard size. And plenty of height for board clearance, no problem there. Let's take a look at the knife a little closer. The out-of-the-box edge on these, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It wasn't anything super special, but um, uh, you can definitely get it sharper with a good sharpening job. If you don't know how to sharpen, Maybe pay the extra money and have Chef Knives to go sharpen it for you before they send it, and you'll know what a really good out-of-the-box edge feels like, and also what the edge retention should be on a nice, well-crafted edge. So this has some hand-chiseled kanji, and uh, also some embossed kanji, very tiny ones, and then it's plain on the left side of the blade. Uh, they've got a longitudinal sanded finish on this, which is cool, uh, because when you clean a knife, you tend to wipe it this way, especially when you're drying it, and this will help hide the scratches, because they'll flow with that. You've got kind of a faux kasumi finish on it, that comes down. Uh, the, you know, the actual grind of the blade is, is further down than that as far as where it starts thinning out towards the edge. But uh, then you can see the core steel showing through the edge there and your edge bevel. They've relieved the spine and the choil a bit. You, you, if you wanted it a little smoother you could do that but there's enough where I think it should be comfortable for most people right out of the box. Balance point on these is just about right there, um, slightly behind a pinch grip. My pinch grip's a little bit closer to where the kanji start, but uh, nice neutral feel to this. And as I said, it's a pretty stiff blade, yet they're pretty thin right at the edge where it counts. So it's, a, it's kind of a nice combination. It gives you a lot of integrity in the board. You can see how thin it is right at the edge. And here's the profile of this one. Profiles, again, can vary just a little bit from knife to knife as well. But this one's got just kind of a low, gentle curve or belly. Not a ton of super flat. You wouldn't want a Nakiri that's dead flat, though. It'd be really hard to use on the board because you'd have to be right on the money with how you hit the board with it. But uh, anyway, this will rock nicely if you want it to. Push-pull glide cuts. If you like to just pure chop, you know, it doesn't have a huge flat spot, but it's pretty low in terms of belly. So, there you have just a nice new line that uh, Mark has brought out, and uh, a lot of great qualities to it. Super nice handles on these. Just a good, high-quality overall um, blade. Really neat. So, this is the Kohetsu 
uh, Shinano Aogami number two, Nakiri 165 millimeter knife.